Hi guys, this is Junaid, a Zenix man. I have been recording this video from a traditional Dutch class of the 19th to 20th century with the reason. You know what happened in the cryptocurrency market in a couple of days? Everything changed and some people are really worried. Some people left and they think this is the bubble and bubble is popping and everything is happening. I just wanted to tell you that this is not the bubble. But how can you be so sure it's, go it's going to bounce back? No, I'm telling you it's not going to bounce back. I'm telling you that it's going to bounce back to the levels that you have never seen before. It's going to go back even to the higher levels that you have never seen before. But you are going to ask again, but how do you know that? Now, this is the reason why I have been recording this video from this traditional room. If you look at the history, then you will understand that history only repeats itself. Now in this video, we are going to analyze the, uh, the very famous website CoinMarketCap and I will show you some historical information, historical information and data that we collected in the previous years and we will compare it with the information that we have nowadays. So, as I mentioned, we have to analyze the data and we'll go to the website, very famous website, coinmarketcap.com. On the coinmarketcap website, you can find all the historical data and information that you, should, you, uh, you are looking for, all historical snapshots. Uh, shots. But um, for this analyzation, we are going to look at the charts of the Bitcoin. Why Bitcoin? Because Bitcoin is in this field for a longer time and the historical data available for Bitcoin reflects the whole altcoins uh, and also cryptocurrency markets. So, we are going to have a look at the 2000 situation in 2014, 2015, 16 and 17. If we start with the 2014, in the, the 2014, around February, if, let me say it like 23rd of February, the one Bitcoin in 2014 was about uh, $630 uh, and it went down in a couple of days on the 25th, just on the two days after it went down to $421 and it bounced back and it collected itself, went to be up and down and up and down at the end of, after a couple of days around March it was again the around 697 700 dollars if you look at the situation in 2015 almost the same time because in 2014 it was just the uh, the discovery of uh, getting a lot of money some organizations uh, somehow discovered how they can uh, pump and how they can dump and get the money out of it and so they use it in 2014 but from now on to from 2015 till now they bump, pump and dump moments uh, occur around January if you look at 2015 we are going to see that in 2015 around the 7th of January the one while the price was around $300 just in a couple of days price of the Bitcoin went down to almost the half of the price it's almost uh, to the uh, 175 dollars so this this is almost a half of its value it just lost in a couple of days and um, this is not the end after bouncing back and forth and bouncing back and forth it just recovered on the uh, to January the 26th and it went down again and it just recovered around March and if you look at the chart further you're going to see even more increases how about the situation in 2016 how was it in 2016 as I told you before in 2014 it was just an experiment for some organization they discovered that they can get a lot of profits by dumping and buying it again in uh, January and they in two, since 2015 every January they do apply the same situation if you look at 2016 in 2016 in uh, January the 15th while the uh, January the 14 while the price was about 431 dollars it went down in a couple of days 
to the lowest level of $366. It recovered, it bounced back again, it went up and down, up and down, and at the end, again, somewhere around the March, it recovered back. And if you look at the, at the end of the April, it, the price went even higher than the previous situation. What about 2017? In 2017, the same situation. Again, as you see, the, around the 9th of January, the price went down and went up and down, up and down, but just recovered at the end of February. So, what am I going to, what am I expecting with this data? The, as I told you before, history always repeats itself, and I think this year the price went even bigger up and you are going to see uh, the bounce back in a couple of weeks it's going to bounce back to the levels that you can never expect uh, it will just go back to the price that we have never seen it before so um i hope that uh, we uh, you understand the uh, data analyzation if you want to analyze yourself i advise you to go to the website coinmarket uh, coin You'll find all historical information and all the snaps uh, on the website. And that's it for today. If you like this video and you want to get more videos like this, please su subscribe to my channel because in the coming weeks, I'm going to explain all ins and outs of the cryptocurrency market. And also, uh, if you wanted to donate some coins, it's okay. I'm going to put the coin addresses down there. But you don't need to donate. You don't need to do anything. If you just wanted to watch this video, it's okay. It's fine as well. Because, you know, I'm a teacher and I like teaching people. I like sharing the information that I have. And the world is a beautiful place when we share information. The world is a beautiful place when we trust the technology that's going to change the world in the coming, few, uh, coming years. Thank you very much. Bye, bye, bye. Enjoy your day.